Hello everyone, this is Adam Anderson, Product Trainer at Maple Systems. Welcome back to our EB Pro training series. In the last video, we showed you some advanced features of bar graphs, including dynamic ranges, a target range indicator, and low and high alarm bands. In this video, we'll discuss scaling of raw inputs. For example, let's say you have a PLC getting a temperature value from a K-type thermocouple that ranges from 0 to 2300 degrees Fahrenheit with an operational range of 32 to 2300 degrees. And you wish to measure and display this value on your HMI screen. Sadly, it is not formatted as Fahrenheit, but instead, as you see an example on this screen, it's fixed as some positive value in the range of 0 to 32,767. So what to do? Not to worry, EB Pro can handle scaling for you. There are a few options, but we'll focus on interpolation in this video. With interpolation, we provide some limits up front, like a device high and low, a scaling high and scaling low, and the program figures out the rest for us. So let's take a look at what we have set up so far on this new window in our project. First we have our raw input. This is a user-defined tag that we set up called analog input and it is a 16-bit signed format so we can also enter in negative values into this numeric object later on if we want to. We have a bar graph that's reading from analog input as well and this set word object is generating some simulated data for us in this case going from the low limit to the high limit as you'd expect for that kind of a thermocouple. So what we'll do first is we're going to copy over this raw input numeric object and we're going to create a scaled version here. We'll use our align tools here quickly to line this up. Then we'll double click to go into the settings for this numeric display. We don't need to allow input on this one. We'll go to the format tab next and we want to add one digit to the right of the decimal place so we will increase this to one here and then we can look at the device low this will go from 0 to 32767 that's our limit and for scaling we can click on the method drop down here and we can choose from interpolation or macro subroutine Macros may be used for scaling. If you have some other kind of complex scaling formula you wish to apply, you could implement it in a macro. Just note that you'll have to code that yourself. Interpolation should work for most applications, and this is a lot easier to set up. So we'll take a look at this to begin. So let's start with 0 to 32767. This is equal to our device low and high right now and we can simply change the scaling high in this case to 2300 and if we want to see how it will work we can click on the test button here we also see the formula that's used here with these four parameters scaling high scaling low device high and device low so now we can enter in a number for example in this device field let's enter in 10,000 and we see that that would be equal to 701.9 degrees Fahrenheit with this kind of thermocouple. And we know from calculating this previously that 456 as the raw value would be equal to 32.0 and that would be the minimum operating temperature for this kind of thermocouple. So we can keep that in mind and we can apply that to our bar graph later on if we want to show if it ever drops below this minimum operating temperature. So this is working great. We can go ahead and try some other values here and then click OK when we're done. Click OK one more time and we just want to center the text here from the font toolbar. And now we're ready to run our offline simulation. So from the project tab select offline simulation and go to our new window. And now we see that scaled value here that would show your degrees Fahrenheit. It will go up to the max of 2300 Fahrenheit and then come back down. And what we can set up on the bar graph is a low alarm band. You might see it briefly here. We've already set it up. 
it goes purple for just a second. Let's take a look at how that works. In the bar graph, if you go to the range tab, we just calculated 456 would be equal to our minimum operating temperature of 32.0 Fahrenheit. So we can enter in a low limit here and set a color to display that. And we have this set word object running all the time. If we want to pause that, we can use the security feature. So let's try that now. Go to the security tab check the use register status value and then we're gonna select a local bit to use for our trigger for this but you could also use a bit in a PLC to perform a similar function if you want to what we'll do is when this bit is on we'll enable this set word object and we'll do nothing while it's disabled so we'll click OK now we just need a toggle switch to be able to flip it on and off so we'll add a toggle switch at local bit 1 here, place that on our screen, and then let's run a simulation one more time. Okay, so now that it's not running, we can start it like this and stop it like that. So if we enter 455, now we see that purple band down there because we're below the low end of our operational limit for this thermocouple. We can enter in other values here now and we can see the corresponding scale temperature value there. Now in the next video we'll talk more about data types. So far we've only seen 16-bit unsigned and 16-bit signed values. By the way we can enter in a negative number here and we can see the corresponding negative 7 degrees Fahrenheit there. But in the next video we'll also discuss 32-bit floats and we'll talk about the keypads, the numeric keypads that pop up, and the different options you have for those in EV Pro. Stay tuned for the next episode.